Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the fast forward effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this tutorial is actually really simple. A lot of people are probably wondering why I'm even making a tutorial on this. The reason why is because a lot of people watch my videos, like my, not my YouTube videos, but my other videos, my commercial work, my client work, all that sort of stuff. And they wonder how I do the transitions. Usually there's only one type of transition I do and it's the fast forward effect. The fast forward effect doesn't have to be used as a transition. It can look good in other sequences, but what it's really good with is music. So if there's a beat drop, so if you press play, if there's something like that where it's chopped up, you can just make a fast forward effect at each of those points. So if you sync it up the music, it will look really good. Usually this will, you know, happen in travel videos and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to show you some examples later on, but I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm going to go right here and shift all the clips because I want to start with the first clip first. Um, and we're just going to zoom in here. So basically we want to see where there's movement in the video. This effect looks really good when it goes from normal speed to faster speed. The faster speed is, you know, the time where you apply the effect, obviously, because this is the fast forward effect. So at one point it's going at normal speed. The second point it's fast forwarded and then it goes back to normal speed. You can also do this with slow motion. So having it in slow motion and then fast forward it. A good example of this is where this guy has the ball in his hand. We can make a cut right here. And then when this guy throws the ball and this guy catches it, you can make another cut right there or maybe a little further when he lands. So basically all you wanna do is speed up this portion right here in between these two clips. So you can do this one of two ways. You can right click, press speed and duration and increase it. The problem with this is you don't know how much you're really increasing it by. Well, actually you do. It says a percentage, obviously, but you don't know how long. What you can do instead is press R or right here, you can see the rate stretch tool and you can just click on this and stretch it to however long you want. And it'll just adjust the speed accordingly. So here, if you right click and press speed and duration, you'll see, you'll see right here, it says 253.33. In situations when you want to fit a certain length clip at a certain point, this is good just because you can just stretch it and fit it accordingly. While if you use this, you can never really guess the perfect number that will fit right. So we're gonna press okay here and we're just gonna see how it looks like. Maybe a little faster. So, so you can see here if I press play. So if you see that with music, so this is really cool, right? It goes from like normal then fast. This is good with transitions because it's very seamless. There's a lot of movement, so people can't really see the clips changing because of the motion blur and all that sort of stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up with, you know, when it drops the beat, or maybe that's not the right uh, term, but you know what I mean. So if we press play, and then what we can do here is transition to a new clip. So let's use this clip right here. And basically what we could do is make the beginning of this clip fast and then the rest normal speed. This is usually what I do for my videos. A lot of my sports videos, I would do this. It's just a really clean transition. So, so we can do something like this where it moves. So right here, he starts moving. We're gonna delete this. And by the way, to make cuts, you just wanna press C or click on the razor tool. And basically right here, it stops again. So we're gonna click there and then we're gonna stretch this together. Make sure you press R or select on this. And then we're just gonna delete the spaces in between. And here you can see, so you can see that. You can see the impact, right? When it drops. So if we press play again. So you can see that. So if you have a lot of motion in your video, this is the perfect transition. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.